Chicka ching ching yo yo it's Dominic the donkey la 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 Seasons greetings my fantastic friends it's me Master Temple let's get into a little Christmassy scene for you so on this big white canvas all we're doing is hitting the sky with Prussian blue it's a it's a dark blue and we're gonna do a nice little Christmas scene because it's Christmas so we'll do some fitting we'll do some fitting for the season shall we. So on a one inch brush with this with this Prussian blue, we're hitting the canvas that's been coated in liquid white. And all we're doing is swooshing in a, a, a irregular kind of sky, should I say. So we're leaving some little white spots just in the sky, just some little break patterns. So we're gonna put some other stuff up here. So I hope you're all prepared for the big bang coming. I'm not, <laughs> but still, he's magical. Right, so just keep uh, <laughs> we just keep going with this. So just just tickling myself there. All right, so dry brush. I'm <laughs> laughing at the song. <laughs> so with the dry brush, we're just going to blend all this sky together. Bear with me, folks. Bear with me. We're just going to bl blend all this together and uh, smooth out that sky. That's all we're going to do. Just smooth it out. So you can't see any other brush strokes. It's got to be clean and dry as this brush when we're blending everything together. Or she'll end up making mud. And we don't want a muddy sky. I'm just going to touch a bit more of that colour into the sky, just into, into the corners, just to darken it off, just to draw his eye into the centre. So onto the Prussian blue, just a bit, tiny bit of black, not much, just a tiny little bit. Just to darken it here and there. Just to darken it here and there. That's all we're gonna do. And again, blend it out. There we go. There we go. And again, we'll just come in and smooth it all back out. Take all the brush marks out. That's it. That's it. Big old dry brush. Now, I thought I once painted a, um, a Christmas scene many many years ago and I, I'm going to try and get it out and, and show you if I can find it maybe in the back of the, in the shed somewhere it was the manger and uh, the nativity scene so we've left some little light spots so in that little light spot on my finger I put a nice little moon we'll have a moonlit night again blend him out blend him out there we go there we go. You can work this till it's as smooth as silk. Till you can't see when one colour starts and the other colour stops. Okay, let's, let's get the knife. And on the knife I've got some liquid white and I'm just going to splash in some, some, some flecks of snow really. Snow or stars, whatever you want to call them up here. We'll call them stars. They look nice. Okay, now in the background, we're just going to have some trees. So, I've turned my little filbert brush. I could have picked a fan brush or any brush that I've done. I'm just going to put some distant little trees. And this colour is a, 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 a light grey colour I've made. I don't want them too distinct. That's all you have to do. Basic little indications of, of little trees. And with a bit more blue on that colour and on the same brush, I haven't cleaned it. We'll put a few more just in front of them. And that'll push them back really quickly and really easy. Push them into the painting. Just like so. And then with a dry brush, we'll tap the bottom. And that I missed up that bottom there. <laughs> Still laughing at that song. And allow it to pick up to allow it to pick up some of that that blue colour that you made the trees out of, and that'll create a nice little shadow in the snow. That's all it'll do. Just little taps here and there, there and here. And again, you can make them, you can make them as soft and as smooth as you want them to be. Now on this right hand side, we'll put some bigger ones. So 
and we'll just put the starter tree trunks in there. And again, it's just uh, a bluey grey colour and a little filbert brush. And again, you could use any kind of brush you wanted. That's thin. We used a, a fan brush. Fan brushes really work well on this. Maybe on a bit of a bigger canvas. And you've seen me make trees like this many, many times before. All we do is go from side to side, zigzagging his way down, down the trunk, apply more pressure as we get to the base of the tree. And just let the brush do the work. That's all we're gonna do. Let the brush do the work. <laughs> Dominic the donkey. What's your favorite Christmas songs? <laughs> You know, <laughs> I, I, I love Christmas time. I love Christmas songs. I'll sing them all day, every day, if I could. <laughs> That's getting a bit embarrassing at times, but it's Christmas. Here we go. We've got a nice little, uh, a nice little pack of trees, herd of trees. I don't know what you call them. Forest, mini forest. I don't know. Uh, you can't see what I'm doing here, but the corner the edge of the knife, I'm just scraping in a white part of the tree trunk, I'm just scraping through to the plain canvas behind. Now with a, uh, a bit of white on the fan brush, and it's only a touch of white, all I'm gonna do is pick up some of that blue that I've made the trees out of, and try and shape some of, the, some of this land. It's like a snow drift that's, that's blown into these trees. Just like that. Now we'll just clean the brush off on the canvas. That easy. Now then, let's get a bit of white on this little filbert brush. Here and there and there and here, we'll put a little bit of snow on some of these tree branches. Just there, just here. Not too much, I don't want nothing distinct. It's too far away. Again, when things are far away, all we do is see basic shapes basic colours, we don't see much detail. And as we progress forward, we'll be seeing more shapes, more colours, and a little bit more detail. But for now, we'll just stick to what we're doing. There we go. Just like that. And work some into the shadows. There we go. It's gonna be a snowy night. Snowy, snowy night. Right. Let's put a bigger one on. So I've got the same kind of brush, but just bigger. I'm gonna darken the paint. Bit more black in there. You can see I'm just going side to side. Just zigzagging side to side. Applying more pressure as I get to the base of the tree. A bit more paint. If you run out of paint, just get a bit more. There we go. A bit more and a bit more. Right down to the bottom. Give him a little bit of a trunk. Just like that. Just like that. And then I think we might put another one next to him. Yeah. He's got a bit of a crooked lean to him. Maybe he wasn't having a good day. Maybe drank a bit too many. Too much uh, Christmas brandy or a bit of too much port or whatever. Green ginger wine is my favourite tipple this time of year. <laughs> Okay, I'm thinking we'll have uh, we'll have something in here. What shall we have? We'll have a little donkey, of course. You can't really see this. Let's try and uh, get a bit closer, and we'll put a little bit of an indication of old Dominic the donkey down here, travelling in the snowstorm. And again, too far away. You can only just make out basic shapes and basic colours. There we go, give him a tail. And then we'll have 
We'll have Mary sat on top of his back. The pregnant Mary. And of course, put a bit of some of <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that looks silly, doesn't it? <laughs> just, just one lump behind the donkey looks a bit. Oh, we'll come back and fix that. But let's put Joseph, Joseph in. Don't want to leave Mary by you, by yourself out here on a donkey, do we? But let's put Joseph there, right next to her. Right. Then we'll put some more little, uh, little lumps and bumps behind them, make them look like uh, footsteps in the snow. There we go. Just like that. And give Joseph some. Yeah. yeah. So they look like they're walking away from us. Yeah. There we go. Happy days. Mary and Joseph on Dominic's back. Right. Let's get back to these big trees in this. Uh, it's a bit of foreground, so white paint. And again, we'll just, just casually put in some highlights on these tree trunks, uh, tree branches, and <laughs> trunks. Here we go. And if your paint's not sticking, like it's not, just put a bit of thinner in there and it'll it'll thin itself off and the stick because the paint is is thick here and thin paint sticks to thick paint if you've got thin paint on the canvas you can't you can't stick a thinner paint to it really it makes a bit of a mush and we don't want that so it's all about getting your consistencies right let's work on this tree and as moonlight indicates that uh, our highlights should come from the left hand side, so we'll emphasize more on that. And there we go. Flip the brush around if you're, if you're running out of paint. Two sides to every paintbrush. A bit more. Don't want to kill the black area though, you don't want to kill all the darkness. I should have nothing, you know. Light on light, you get nothing, and dark on dark, you get nothing. There we are, another couple of trees in the foreground. Yeah. And then let's make a snow drift against them. So again, just a bit of white paint on the paintbrush, same paintbrush. Just grab some of that dark colour and pull it out. Just think about how a snow drifted leaf out here on the canvas. You grab some of that colour, it will create like a shadow inside the snow. You know, snow gets a little bit thinner in places. You can see the ground between, beneath the snow. It's exactly what we're making. And it's easy. And you can do it. You can do it if you ever, if you ever want to have a bit of a paint. Hey, let's add some smaller trees. I don't want to cover up all that background material that we've we've tried so hard to make. Not that hard, really, were it? But, but you know what I'm saying. So there we go. Same little thing. Little little filbert brush, zigzagging a nice little evergreen tree. Looks a bit crooked, him. <laughs> Maybe the old donkey come along and kicked him over as they were walking past. Let's put another little uh, a little tree next to him sapling these could be little baby trees now what what you find in it is is these little tiny trees i'm painting in here because i didn't want to i didn't want to cover the background with you know the the, the far away trees uh, they sort of like disturb your eye against the bigger trees to the to the right hand side so what what i'll do i will put a tree a small tree next to the li next to the big trees so here we go put a little small tree here and then that should get us perspective right and, us, and the sizing right well, that is a small tree 
better be careful or old bunny rabbit will come and eat him <laughs> or whatever else lives out here in Lapland no it's not Lapland is it it's, it's on the way to the Holy Land this one Lapland's where Santa Claus lives right here we go some uh, some <laughs> you know what I'm saying uh, some highlights on these uh, little trees been a long year, folks. Been a long year. So, some highlights on these little trees. Again, not too much. We don't want to kill all that, that dark area off. And we'll, we'll grab some of that blue that we made the trees out of. And just pull that into the snow. And it'll create a nice little cool, shadowy area. There we go. That's it, just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. A bit more here, a bit more there. Happy days, everyone's a winner. Right, pull the weeds down here. I hope everybody's doing fantastic and going to have an absolutely belter of a Christmas. Like I've just said, it's been a tough year and we could do with some Christmas joy, couldn't we? You know? Right about now, we just need some Christmas joy. Nice one. Let's put some white down there. Let's thicken up this snow. And when this dries, you know all we're doing is just going over and creating some snow drifts but when this dries it'll look like the snow is quite thick thicker than the snow that's obviously in the middle ground where Mary and Joseph are yeah right let's put a let's put a holy star up here yeah we, we'll put him in this dark spot no yeah no here there we go a little bit of thin white paint Touch of cadmium yellow mixed in there, and a small, tiniest amount. Don't want to overkill this. I want a massive star. But we'll put the nice indication that there's a star, holy Christmas star. There we go. Just like that. So that's his Christmas star. Whoop. That's his Christmas star. Just a tiny little of a blend out. So not really touching that at all. That could be like a halo that we've made for a star. What we'll do is come in now and we'll sharpen that star up. So tiny bit of paint on the knife. White paint. I'm steadying myself here. Just try and cut in. Now it's hard to see. But we know it's there. Just like that. And when you get close up to this, you can see a nice little star. Straight on the edge of the knife, a small blade of the knife. You can keep going back over this if you need to, just to brighten it up. There we go. That's his Christmas star. Maybe a bit more? I think so. Just a touch. Just a touch. That's a bit brighter. We brightened him up for camera. There. There we go. You can see it better now. Sometimes I have to brighten things up for camera. Whereas I normally I, I wouldn't do it for just painting for pleasure. And there we got it. Nice little, nice little Christmas star. Let's put some snow on there now. So we'll cover the old canvas this time. And it's basically just liquid white on the fan brush, and we're just scraping that against against the blade of the knife. Just flick it, 
flick all over. And down the trees. You want to have Mary and Joseph. It's a snowstorm, remember? Here we go. Just like that. And again, this will add texture to your painting as well. When everything dries off. Happy days. Yeah, it's actually quite fun doing this. I'm sure everybody's done this at some point with something. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> work that little bit of a blob out. Tap him into the background. And everyone's a winner. Everyone's a winner. We need to sign this little deal for this merry little Christmas scene, don't we? So please, have an amazing, amazing festive season but do take care and stay safe my fantastic friends whether you're coin collecting painting metalworking whatever you're doing just take care because we're gonna have a belter of a 2021 aren't we yes we are so until next time do take care my fantastic friends i'll see you all later happy days merry christmas ho 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 ho